Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, we've got our stew in the slow cooker there, and that's just gonna stew itself away now for around about the next four hours or so. Already the smells are coming out, and they're smelling outstanding, I can tell you. Anyway, I promised you a smashing little salad. That's what we're gonna do now. Uh, this is what it's gonna look like when we're finished. The secret ingredient, believe it or not, is this potato. And what the potato does, it gives us a very earthy crunch that's uh, it's hard to believe, really. Right, so I'm gonna show you how I did it. First thing, lettuce. Come on our garden, iceberg lettuce. We'll all use it, we'll all love it, we know what it is. One little tip on your iceberg, don't chop it. Uh, when you chop it, you're cutting clean through the membranes, you're not getting the flavours. So what you wanna do is just really shred it with your hands. Shred it with your hands, hide it in there, it's gonna be amazing. So uh, we're gonna show you a special dressing a bit later on as well. So that's one better lettuce, shredded uh, by hand, and uh, that's good to go. The next thing we're gonna pop in is some good quality cherry tomatoes. Now, I'm gonna tell you the biggest secret to a salad here. Now, you don't want your ingredients straight out the fridge because the human taste buds don't appreciate the flavour so much at that temperature of around about four degrees or whatever. What you want to do is bring all your ingredients up to around about room temperature or body temperature, sort of, that's where you want to be. First I'm going to start off with some cherry tomatoes and as I said, we're going to bring them up to room temperature and there's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, you can pop them in a very low oven just for five minutes. Some people even use the microwave, but I wouldn't recommend that. And what I like to do is I just like to stick a couple of these babies uh, right up my arse and uh, I'll just leave them there for about 10 minutes or so and that'll get them up to a, a good enough temperature. Um, I find if I walk fairly gingerly, they tend to pretty much uh, retain their integrity. So that's a little tip for you there. So we're gonna get our tomatoes in. That's the first thing. Once you've got them warmed up, hide them in, and uh, that'll be great. Uh, then the next thing we're gonna pop in is that old standby cucumber. Now, I like a big one. And again, you wanna get this up to room temperature, so uh, you, you put it in the oven for a couple of seconds, or maybe it's under a warm rug. Uh, but the best thing I find is just stick it up your ass, just for a minute or two, and uh, careful how you can. And, uh, and then just pop that in, slice it up and pop it in. Uh, the next thing is uh, just a common garden potato. Uh, just very thinly sliced, adds a real crunch to a, to a lunchtime salad. Um, now, you want, you want to get this up to room temperature, and uh, what I like to do is, is just stick it up the arse for a couple of minutes, and that'll, that'll be a good temperature for your potato. And then, uh, nearly done, one final thing, that's just to add a, a little bit of sweetness. It's a, it's a good sized watermelon. Now you don't want this straight out the fridge, you want it at room temperature. The best thing to do is stick it up your ass and get it in there. And what you'll end up with after all of that is uh, this delicious little lunchtime salad. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for stopping by. Come back tomorrow where we're going to be making, well, another salad, actually, but this time a warm one, thank Christ. See yous.